Hi, Dean Crabb from C2 Solutions here, your cloud systemization expert. Just wanted to cover a topic that one of my private clients asked me the other day, and that's how to attach files in Asana. Now, there's four different ways to do it, and it's actually an extension of a video I did the other week on using Google Drive. So in this, I'm going to show you some Google um, Drive ways and some other ways of moving files from Google, Google email, you know, from your local computer into Asana. Okay, so that's what I want to cover today. It's four ways to set to attach files from Google into Asana. Okay, so as mentioned, this is something that one of my private clients raised with me, and I think it's really important to show it because it, it's great to be fluid in using a tool. So when you're using Asana, knowing how to attach files and doing it really, really quickly can speed up your work processes, especially if you understand the different ways of doing it and the implications of it. So I'm going to go through all the different ways you can do it, some of the implications of it, okay? So it's best if we just dive in and start showing you. Now I'm going to hide my head that's down in one of these corners um, because it gets in the way when we're trying to drag and drop things around, okay? So here's um, an email I've got and I've received it with a few attachments, okay? There's an inline image there that's me working in the studio, like right now, okay? And um, here is some other attachments down the bottom. Now. I want to get this whole lot and the email and what's in the body of the email, so there's a message in there, over to Asana. The, the quick and easy way is to forward the email. So Asana has a, um, a, pre a default email address called x at mail.asana.com, x at mail.asana.com, whereas if you forward anything in it, it'll recognize your email address and then attach it to your account and it lands in your My Task section. Okay, so I'm just gonna forward that and that'll come over into Asana, into my My Task section. Now it's gonna take a minute or two there, probably a minute or two, because I've got, there's a few attachments on there and a PDF that's kinda large. So I'm gonna show you an alternative method for that. Um, if you want it not to come into My Task, but to come into a specific project where maybe your team manage it, okay? So if you want it to come into Test Project or any other of your other projects, you come up to here and then go Add Task via Email, okay? And you'll get this long email address here, okay? And this is unique for this project. And so if you forward it to that email address, it'll land in this project and you can have someone else checking that daily or picking it up, okay? So that's the alternative. So if I go back to My Tasks, the email's not there yet, it should be here any moment. Okay, and we'll, I'll then show you what it looks like when it comes in. Okay, there it comes in under new tasks. If I click on that, you can see the task there, there's all the email body, um, and then there's the attachment linked in to it there. Okay, so that's one way to get them over uh, into my tasks or into a specific project. The other way to get atta um, attachments over to Asana is to load them locally um, Download like from locally from your computer, drag them over. So, say you've got a task in here called um, test task. Okay, and I've got some description in here, and I want to then show them that um, that image. Okay, um, or attach a PDF, or can you please review this, or something like that. You can um, download it to your computer, or if it's already on your computer, okay? So in a Google Gmail, any any images or attachments, you get this download icon, okay, the little arrow, you'll see it there on all of them, okay? Or you can do all of them from an email going download all attachments. So I'm just gonna do this one image up here, download that, and it appears down here in your taskbar. You just need to go back to Asana, go into the task that you're at, and you drag it and drop it like that, okay? And that gets it in there. Okay, the other way is if you've got your downloads folder already open, okay, that here's one of the road video mic I use, okay, and I'll drag that over and that'll upload as well, okay. So both of those are just dragging from your local computer or going from your email down, um, down to your local computer and then uploading from there, okay. Now you can see once you've done that, if you go back, They've now come in there and they will appear and render in line into the task, okay? And they appear here. Now you can click on them or the person doing the task can click on them, okay? 
and they'll just open in the browser and then they can view them or download them. So it's kind of handy that it's kind of inbuilt like that. The disadvantage for me is what I, th I think is I like having all these images in my Google Drive. Like So uh, there's an, uh, a repository of them for me to always access rather than being in my task system. Okay, so the other way is to then attach them from Google Drive. So I'm going to go and show you how to do that now. So going back to my email, I'll go down to this one here, this star background. You've got this saved to Google Drive, and again, it appears everywhere in here, or you can do all of them to Google Drive. And when you click that, it'll say Organize. So it adds it to my drive, but then you want to move it somewhere. So you say Organize, and you're gonna, I'm going to move this into my business, into a certain folder that I've got control on or I've got locked down, okay? I'm going to move it into my Asana Uploads Test, okay? And if you actually go into the, the Google Drive there, you'll see that file appear there, right? Now, the advantage here is you can then rename that file too, okay? So I can rename that file, okay? Um, and then attach it from there, and I'll show you how to attach it. Um, now, if you go into Asana and go to your task, Go up here, you got this attach icon, and you click it, there's Google Drive. Okay, and you pick the account of your Google Google account that you want to get to. Okay, and then you can search for the file. Okay, and so I'm gonna search for I know it's in the a certain folder, Sana Upload Test. Okay, there's that folder. And there's that file. Okay, so when you link that in, it actually is linking it to Google Drive. So it doesn't, it's it's not doesn't put a copy into the Asana task here. You can see it linked there. It actually still sits in your Google Drive. So when someone clicks it, it'll open in the browser, and you can see it links to the Google Drive up there. Okay, so they're seeing it like that. Now, the, as I said, the good advantage of this is it's then controlled by your permissions of your Google Enterprise, and you've always got a searchable copy for that in your Google Drive if you need it. The other advantage to this is if you go into your Google Drive and see I've already linked that into Asana, but if I now rename this task, okay, um, to and put the word test on the end, okay. If I go back to, I'll close this one down. You see that that's obviously still the old name, but if I close that down and then go back to my Asana task, I haven't reattached it. I click that, it opens in Google Drive, and you'll see now, uh, it can take a second for this to appear, I did this in my last demo video. Refresh, give it a moment. Blow me down, it's not gonna do it now, but trust me, that does actually work, okay. You can still see clearly I'm able to open that without a problem. Now the other way is to, if you've got a really large file, let's pretend this is a really large file, the fourth way, is to save it locally into your Google Drive and let it upload and then attach it from there. Now, you could, if this is a really large file, you could use the first technique where you download it, and that's the, you know, that's the first step I'm gonna do is download it anyway. You could drag this then directly into Asana and into that task, okay? But if that's really large and you accidentally close down this window, you're gonna interrupt your download, your, your attachment for it. So especially like I do video files and they can be really big. So what I do is I'll then save that into my Google Drive. Okay, so I could just upload that into my Google Drive that way or locally on your computer. Okay, this is my Google file stream, all users. Okay, sign upload test. I'll drag that into the local file, sorry, the local file on my computer there. Drag that in there and then let Google file stream upload that file you'll see it appear here in the cloud okay now it's appearing here now you can use that basically the same principle as the third technique I showed you attach from Google Drive pick your account find the folder or the file so uploads test Okay, and then you can attach the PDF that way, okay? So that's the fourth way. Basically, it's better if you've got large files and you don't want to interrupt the up upload, you can drop it into the Google Drive. Now, I'm just gonna retest this, see if this is actually working now. Yay, okay, there you go. So that was that second technique where I said you can rename the file, okay? And you see the rename file, so just to prove myself right. Okay, so there, that's the um, four ways to attach files from Google, Google Email or Google Drive 
into a sun and some of the implications of them. I hope you found that really helpful. Now, if you want more goodies from us, um, you can subscribe on our website, and these are the, some of the other places you can go and um, like us, subscribe to us, and um, you'll get these videos. Okay. Lastly, we've just released our new ebook, The 26 Apps to Systemize Your Business. Um, it, a lot of the tools we recommend to clients for systemizing um, their businesses, and you can go and get that for free. Just go and get, go to our website, and you can sign up, and we will send that off to you. I'm Dean Crabb. Hope you found that really helpful. I'll see you next week.